Hello friends, welcome to eKira. Title of the lecture is Short Circuit MVA. But before that, what are three phase symmetrical fault? So three phase symmetrical fault, symmetrical fault, symmetry means a symmetrical fault is a fault where all the phases are affected so that the system remain balanced. Means voltage and current in the system is balanced when magnitude is same and phase displacement 120 degree. That is known as symmetrical fault and the other three fault like line to ground, line to line, the two line to ground are called unsymmetrical fault. So we assume a single line diagram. This is transformer 1, transmission line, transformer 2. So this is a single line diagram where generator, transmission line and transformer reactance is in per unit. So, generator reactance in per unit, transformer reactance in per unit, transmission line reactance in per unit, transformer 2 reactance in per unit and suppose at bus 1, this is bus 1, 3 phase symmetrical fault occur. This is 3 phase symmetrical fault. So, what happens, we will analyze this. So we assume that there is no load connect prior to fault and the current flowing in transmission line is zero. So first we will draw reactance diagram for finding fault current. So reactance diagram. This is reactance, generator reactance per unit. Then transformer 1 per unit. Then Transmission line in per unit, then again transformer 2 in per unit, and then bus, which is grounded. So, this is IF fault current in per unit. So suppose at bus triple line or triple line to ground fault occur. So symmetrical fault means we denote it in one phase because it is symmetrical. Fault is same in all the phases. Magnitude same after the fault. So we have to find fault current. So total reactance is equals to C, generator per unit, transformer 1 per unit, transmission line per unit and transformer 2 per unit. So this is a total reactance, transformer 1 per unit, transmission line per unit, transformer 2 per unit. This is a total reactance. So we assume when three phase symmetrical fault occur, some fault impedance is given means it is not directly to the ground. Some impedance, fault impedance, suppose this is ZF. It is given, if not then ZF is equal to zero if it is not given. So IF is equal to fault current in per unit. This is equal to EF per unit upon total reactance, equivalent reactance in per unit plus ZF. So this is the total EMF per unit and this is the total impedance. See please note this that per unit always defined in per phase. So per unit always defined in per phase. Now fault current in ampere actual value 
दिस इज इक्वल्स टू आई एफ इन पर यूनिट इन टू आई बेस दिस इज द बेस वैल्यू सी यू नो दैट पर यूनिट दिस इज इक्वल्स टू एक्चुअल वैल्यू अपॉन बेस वैल्यू सो एक्चुअल वैल्यू इज इक्वल्स टू एक्चुअल वैल्यू दिस इज इक्वल्स टू पर यूनिट इन टू बेस वैल्यू एंड एक्चुअल वैल्यू विल बी इन एम्पियर और किलो एम्पियर एंड इफ इट इज इन थ्री फेज पावर वी नो रूट थ्री वी एल आई एल दिस इज इक्वल टू थ्री फेज एम बी और वी कैन से एम बी ए सो आई बी बेस वैल्यू दिस इज इक्वल टू एम बी ए बाय रूट थ्री इन टू वी एल सो पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ बेस वैल्यू सो आई एफ एक्चुअल आई एफ दिस इज इक्वल टू आई एफ इन पर यूनिट इन टू एम बी ए बाय रूट थ्री इन टू वी एल जस्ट पुट द बेस वैल्यू इन दिस सो आई एफ एक्चुअल दिस इज इक्वल टू आई एफ पर यूनिट इन टू एम बी ए बाय रूट थ्री इन टू वी एल दिस इज द एक्चुअल फॉल्ट करेंट नाउ शॉर्ट सर्किट एम बी ए so short circuit mva short circuit mva basically it is a method to determine the fault current for points within a power system so this allow for proper sizing of breaker and protection devices of on these point so we have to calculate short circuit mva basically to define the rating of circuit breaker so first draw the single line diagram n per unit transformer 1 transmission line transformer 2 here there may there is some circuit breaker and this is fault this is transmission line reactance of transmission line in per unit reactance of transformer 1 in per unit reactance of transformer 2 in per unit so when fault occur how much mv can flow means how much power flow that is short circuit mv in the circuit and the reactance diagram of this is this is ef in per unit so and i am now denoting the equivalent reactance in per unit equivalent reactance you know what is equivalent reactance this is equals to reactance of generator plus reactance of transformer plus transmission line plus transformer 2 in per unit so this is the total reactance and this is the zf in per unit and this is the fault current in per unit so when fault occurs equivalent circuit diagram is like this so how much power flow so e into i this will give you power so there are two methods to find the short circuit mva first method to find out the short circuit mva see short circuit mva This is equals to root three E F into I F. That is, this I F is the line fault current, and this E F this is the line E M F. So this E F into I F this is the actual value. Now second method. Second method find its per unit value. so short circuit mva n per unit this is equals to ef per unit into if per unit see this ef per unit and if per unit this is per phase mva where so where is three phase mva see i have already told you that per unit values define in 
per phase. See this note that per unit is always defined in per phase, not in three phase. So this is SC MBA per unit. This is equals to EF per unit into IF per unit. This is per phase MBA. So short circuit MBA per unit. This is equals to EF per unit into IF per unit, not three EF per unit into IF per unit. This is wrong. Now actual value of short circuit MBA per unit into base value. So short circuit MBA into per unit into base value. Three phase MBA. This is base MBA. So these are the two methods for finding the short circuit MVA first method and the second method. So I'll show these two methods with the help of one example. So this is the question. Uh, so this is the single line diagram where reactance of generator transformer 1 transmission line transformer 2 is given. This is equal to J 0 0.1 per unit. And at 50 MVA, this is the base 50 MVA, we have to find the short circuit MVA. And EF is equal to 11 kV. This is given. So this is line voltage, not phase voltage. So method 1. First, we'll convert this single line diagram into reactance diagram. This is total reactance, equivalent reactance. This is fault. This is given. So total equivalent reactance. This is generator plus transformer 1 plus transmission line plus transformer 2. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1. This is equals to 0 0.4 per unit. This is fault current in per unit. So EF this is equals to 11. KV. So this is equals to 11 by 11 which means 1 per unit. So this is equals to 1 per unit. So in per unit EF is equals to 1 per unit. Now we have to find the fault current in per unit. So this is equals to so this is the formula for finding out the fault current. So this is equals to uh, that IF actual this is equals to IF per unit into MVA by root 3 into VL. So IF in per unit this is equals to EF in per unit upon equaling reactance. Per, see this is a diagram for finding out the fault current in per unit. IF per unit is equals to EF per unit total EMF per unit upon X equivalent per unit plus ZF per unit. So this ZF it is not present it so it is equals to zero so impedance fault impedance is equals to zero that's why this is if per unit is equals to total emf per unit upon total impedance x equivalent per unit so this is equals to ef per unit is one upon total reactance in per unit is equals to J 0 0.4. See this. J 0 0.4. So this is equals to minus J 2.5 per unit. So our first method is equals to short circuit MV. We, this is equals to root 3 EF into IF. So this is the actual value. We need to find out the actual fault current. So actual fault current, we know the formula for actual fault current. EF actual. This is equals to IF per unit into MVA by root 3 into VL. So this is equals to IF per unit into MVA by root 3 into VL. So IF in per unit this is equals to see this minus J is nothing. This minus is for the angle like we write this as 2.5 per unit angle minus 90 degree. So this is 2.5. So IF this is 2.5 into MVA base MVA is given. See base MVA is it is given in the question base MVA is 50 MVA. So MVA 
fifty into ten to the power six upon root three into e. This V L this is given. This line voltage is given. It is eleven kV. So in voltage, it is eleven into ten to the power three. So this is equals to six point five six kilo ampere. This is the actual fault current. Now put the value in first method. Short circuit M V A. This is equals to root three into E F into I F. So this is equals to root three into E F. This is given line voltage is eleven into ten to the power three into six point five six kilo ampere to ampere six point five six into ten to the power. Three. So this is equals to one twenty five MVA. So short circuit MVA using first method, we got one twenty five MVA. Now we'll check with the second method. So second method is pi net per unit value. So short circuit MVA per unit. This is equals to EF per unit into IF per unit. Now. This short circuit MVA per unit. This is equals to EF in per unit into IF in per unit. We know EF in per unit is equals to one into IF in per unit. It is equals to two point five. So this is equals to two point five short circuit MVA in per unit. Now we have to find out the HCMV actual short circuit MVA. So short circuit MVA actual this is equals to short circuit MVA per unit into base value of MVA. Base value three phase base value MVA is given. So short circuit MVA per unit into MVA base value. This is equals to two point five into MVA base value is given. It is fifty MVA. Yes, fifty MVA into fifty. So this is equals to one twenty five MVA. Short circuit MVA actual. Now compare with this first the value with first method. So from first method, short circuit MVA. This is equals to. 125 MVA and short circuit MVA with second method. This is also equals to 125 MVA. So you can adopt any method, first or second. So these are the two methods for finding out the short circuit MVA. And uh, what is the short circuit MVA? I have already told you that short circuit MVA basically it is a method to determine fault currents. Method to determine the fault currents. For points within a power system, and this allow for the proper sizing of breakers and protection devices for these points. Thank you.